We are taking a look today at the brand new 3 Series pedals from JHS. Um, they've come out with this really cool series of um, really professionally built but inexpensive player friendly pedals. Um, all at an incredible price point, especially when you consider that these are built here in the United States. Um, using top quality components and all the things that you are used to seeing from JHS. Um, in the series, there's a, all of the classic effects that you would expect. There's a fuzz pedal, there's a chorus pedal, there's an overdrive pedal, there's distortion, there's compression, there's delay, and there's reverb. Um, we've got them all set up on this board here for us. Um, we're powering them all simply with a Mission Engineering 529i, so um, nice and simple and easy. Um, and we're running them through a trusty Mesa Boogie Fillmore. Um, we've got the Fillmore set, just completely dry. Nice and basic clean tone. I've got the reverb turned off because we're also gonna talk about the reverb pedal. Um, as I was starting there, we were using their brand new three series reverb pedal. I like it because it can really do a great kind of classic amp style reverb, but it's also got uh, enough decay and depth that if you want to get a little bit out there, a little bit deeper um, with it, you can. One of the other really cool features I like about this one is it's got a pre-delay switch. Um, and what that basically does is um, sets a delay point before the reverb starts. So if we have it off, the reverb is going to start immediately upon your attack. we add the pre-delay, it gives it just a moment so that the attack of your note comes through before the reverb gets started. This can be really useful if you are using it in conjunction with delay. Uh, sometimes if you stack a delay in front of a reverb, if you don't have any pre-delay going on and you've got a pretty active delay, you can start to find the effect of the delay washing over top of the reverb um, or vice versa. So the nice thing with having the pre-delay switch on this is if we want to do a, um, a nice delay right in front of our reverb, we can kind of avoid a bit of that. If we set our delay pedal for maybe something in the kind of more traditional slapback style. that. If we have the reverb on and we don't have the pre-delay on, you can hear that the delay and the reverb are sometimes fighting each other a little bit. If we add a little bit of that pre-delay in, it's just nice and uh, much better interaction. Um, like I said, the reverb can go a little more subtle amp style. But we do have the range on the decay control and the reverb level to get into some pretty big, deep, cavernous reverbs for those more atmospheric tones. off in outer space if you want to, or you can have that just a little bit more conventional amp style kind of reverb with it. It's got a really nice chorus in the 3 Series. nice things is that the LED will actually flash in oscillation with the time of your rate. So you have a really nice visual indicator. And it just does a nice, simple, what you'd want a nice chorus to do. You 
You can also go into the vibe mode, which releases, uh, removes the dry signal. So you just get the, the wet. So if you want something a little more pronounced. We've got a fuzz right at the front. For the fuzz sound, I'm going to put the Fillmore with just a little bit of grit. Because fuzz always works better if the amp is starting to push into that level of breakup. It doesn't get as harsh. It gets a little warmer, more rounded. Um, so classic fuzz. <laughs> They've included a fat switch, which will give you a bass boost. So you can get two different overall kind of flavors there. It's made to clean up nicely. The bias knob will get you into those kind of splash, classic, more spitty. Or a little more smooth for those players that normally would be more used to something like overdrive instead of fuzz. go back over to the clean channel. Um, classic overdrive, JHS has got a long history of making great overdrive pedals. Um, a lot of people are familiar with things like the Morning Glory um, or the Charlie Browns um, or things like the Double Barrel and the Sweet Tea. Um, so, you know, it's great to have another classic uh, JHS overdrive here in the 3 Series. <laughs> This one will go from just kind of that nice edge of breakup. The body control is your overall EQ, acts almost like a filter. bright or how dark you want the drive to be. We can go from just that little hint where it's more of a boost. To more of a robust gainy drive. And there's a two position gain switch to give you an additional range of, of drive sounds. It works well pushing the drive channel of a, an amp as well. Another classic from JHS is the 3 Series Distortion. Um, again, JHS has a long history of making great distortion pedals. Um, things like the Angry Charlie, um, or things like our friend Andy Timmons' Signature Drive, um, get you into some great range of heavier gain tones. <laughs> Again, we've got a gain switch here. This is giving you a kind of a different character. Bigger, darker, growlier, or more open, bright, top endy. Your filter control is the EQ. It's kind of 
shaping the top end and the mids at the same time. <laughs> we can get a pretty good range out of it even though it's a full distortion pedal. We can get into those little bit lower gain drive tones as well. the super gainy stuff. Um, the 3 Series wouldn't be complete without a nice compressor, um, pretty much a staple on a ton of people's boards depending on whether you're using it for a bit more of a boost to push the front end of your amp or whether you're going for more of a classic funk or country kind of thing to um, limit your attack. <laughs> some of those classic kind of uh, 80s tones with the classic chorus and compression added together. You've got separate controls for sustain and attack, um, so we can really limit how hard we're squashing on the input. And how long we're taking for the release. So whether we want a little bit lighter attack um, or something that's really squashy. There's also a brightness control. Some compressors as you engage them will kind of darken all of your signal. Um, so JHS has included a bright switch to preserve that transparent top end. The delay pedal has two modes as well. It has a more kind of clean, digital-ish kind of voice um, with it, and then more of a darker, analog-y kind of sound. So you're getting the best of both in one. You've got independent controls for your delay time, and our mix overall, and then of course our repeats. Or depending on the delay pedal you're used to, that might be called feedback. So we've got the darker flavor here, a little more like an analog delay. clean, more digital repeats. We touched on a little bit earlier the reverb pedal. Any of these pedals, of course, can uh, work great by themselves, but there's all kinds of cool combinations you can come up with them if we do the chorus and the delay and the reverb.
just a great range of uh, pedal designs from JHS that encompass the full range of the stuff that you need for your board. It might be a great alternative for your main pedal board if for someone who's just getting into pedals and maybe there's certain effects that you wanted to try but maybe the price threshold of getting into a JHS has stopped you from doing it. Now you've got pedals that are $100 that can get you an American built super quality pedal uh, in a metal enclosure at that kind of price point. So now maybe if you've always wanted to add a second delay to your rig, uh, you can do that easily. If you want to try a different style of overdrive, maybe you want to experiment with fuzz, but you don't know if you want to go down the rabbit hole of some crazy high-end germanium boutique fuzz. For $100, you can play around with fuzz tones. Maybe you've thought about stacking two chorus pedals in front of each other or something like that. This gives you an easy way to do it. Uh, it gives you a, a simple kind of platform to experiment with different effects at a really incredible price point for the build quality that we all have come to know and love from JHS. So check them out. Super cool. Stop by the store, uh, play one, give us a call, uh, talk to Brian a million about adding one to your board, um, or check them out on our website. Have a great day.